Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode seven of our Earthbound series. I'm Jake. And I'm David. And we are the Fager Bros. <laughs> oh, yes. We're in a predicament here. We don't know where to go. And, yep, and the door is locked. They've trapped us in here. I think Paul can help us. Look at that. She's well, she has, she has called us called net on nets before, so maybe she's there's somebody else she can call out to. Jeff. Glad she knows who Jeff is and where yeah. he is to try to contact I'm him. I'm glad Paul is in this game. Otherwise this could be a really this would be a really rough game without Paul. Yeah. For multiple reasons. Yeah. For now yeah, ton of reasons actually. Winters. This is one of my favorite All the country to the north. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. Yeah. I just like Jeff as a character. He's kind of unique and different than everybody else. It's, he is really like helps a lot in every single part of the game, and yeah. especially in defeating bosses. Yeah, he's real. He's got his own unique skills, even though he's different than everyone yeah. else. He doesn't have he doesn't have PP, but he makes up that with having a giant brain. Yes, he does. Friend never met, but you're our only hope. And away we go. Somebody talks to us into a dream, and we go to help. Yeah. Our other friend, Pip. <laughs> I don't know his actual name. <laughs> this is Tony. To oh, it's always like Tony. Tony. Yeah. He looks like a Pip. Well, this, yeah. Pip is probably more accurate, considering I think this is kind of set as like a Northern European kind of country yeah. kind of thing. Whereas... The main continent where Ness is from, and Paula, is kind of set on the U.S. Yeah. With Forsy being like New York, and then there's you know they have other continents that we'll meet later. What are these guys doing? We were sleeping. Why are you guys up, Tessie? Okay, so oh, there must be some monster. some kind of lake monster here. Oh, he's going to bed. Not really. He's just talking about it. Stonehenge? Oh, check that out. Cave boys. I don't like fighting cave boys. Oh, they're they're good grinders. What are all these gifts? I'll ask him. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. Oh, and decorated cookies. You don't mind if I take one, right, Tony? Or don't mind if I take all another hey, one, do you? He's oh, what about, us, so what about this one? Just gotta make sure that they actually are all of these. Okay, this is how okay. Okay, they literally are all of these. <laughs> what did he say? I can't believe you did something so nasty. We opened all of Tony's presents. They're just cookies. They didn't give him, like, good presents. They literally gave him... They were hand decorated cookies. Hand decorated. Not that there were any <laughs> he other. Just, he was gonna leave them in a box overnight. For, yeah. To give to Tony the next day. Yeah. That's... That cookie would have been stale garbage bag. That was his plan. Good. I don't need this. <laughs> You're holding the Tony's cookies. Rulers and protractor items that you get, they don't really do anything. They're they're not helpful in the slightest. They say, like, they help you measure things, but they don't do anything. What do you measure in this game? Exactly. <laughs> That's why they're useless. This is Maxwell Labs. He is a professor here at Snowwood Boarding School. That's what it's called. Yes. I think did they say that earlier, too. I believe so. I think it flashes on the screen when they were doing the, the, the dark screen roll. That's where that not being able to read, it comes down one, I guess. It is. Oh, no. Key to the locker. Come oh, on, it doesn't fit. Come on, Maxwell, help a guy out. I need to raid these lockers. <laughs> yeah, we need to steal all their stuff, right? No, it didn't work. A machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. That's actually very convenient for him. 
got the bad key know. machine. So it's a machine that unlocks anything. You grab the key. It's very helpful saying this one key is going to help us open every single lock. Let's see what we got here. There's no like quick keys button, which is There's a quick button for like checking and talking, but if you have to use an item, there's not a quick way to do it other than maneuvering screens quickly. Home's that? Okay. That's gonna be other. Alright, quick 10 in defense. Let's see, what else do we got here? Pop gun. I think there's one more thing to get here. Broken air gun. Broken air gun doesn't seem like much now, but it will be something eventually. Because it doesn't do anything right now. It's broken. It's broken. I have a general feel for when I'm able to repair things. Because um, it's based on Jeff's IQ level on how you when you repair certain items. Um, and some things turn into useful things. So look do. at these hops. Watch these hops. Right now. Those are some hops right Let's check out the shop here. Jeff should have probably gotten to the basketball. There's a monkey. Is it, is it bubble gum or just bubbles? The monkey? Yeah. It's the bubble monkey. Bubble monkey. Yeah. Look at all these awesome items that we cannot afford because we have no money. But well, you'd love to have all those items. We don't have access to our money from yeah. from Nest because we do not have an ATM card. There is a challenge that goes with this, though. It's called the T-Rex Bat Challenge. Oh, that's right. That's right. You pretty much sell most of what's in your inventory, and then you spend hours grinding on crows and runaway dogs to collect $700. cookies cookies, and bread rolls to sell, which sell at $1 and $3 a piece. It takes a while. I've done it in playthroughs. Myself, it's like it's a big advantage for when you do get back to it gives you a, a it gives you an item that you wouldn't be able to get until halfway through the four side That's portion. Yeah. You gotta still do the desert. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Four side, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, because you have it's ha like halfway through that. It's not until after you get the a certain ability to be able to come back here. Then you can come and buy this with Ness. So yeah, that's a large portion of wafer right now. So there's, and I've done that in other runs. We're not doing that here. It only take us. No, we'd have to do all. We'd have to grind it all on screen. Yeah, that. And then yeah. just show you guys us buying. It. Okay, so we're buying this monkey for a dollar. Oh, I can't carry anything else. Um, we'll go ahead and just eat a cookie. Said happy birthday, Tony. <laughs> okay, so we're buying the, the pack of bubble gum for a buck, and we get the monkey to come with us. He got two dollars. Yep, he had two bucks, and it's a good thing he did, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to buy this bubble monkey. And he helps you out a lot. He's very helpful. Now we are ready to go. This is another portion of the game that is actually at nighttime. Yeah. It doesn't stay at night for very long. But it's nighttime. And this is pretty much your run of the mill. Yeah, just crows, dogs. Just there are. <laughs> there are other enemies that are on this portion that we probably want to avoid. Um, no. I'm going to leave the cookie behind. We already have a buttload of cookies. And that one's just a crow cookie, not even a specially decorated cookie. It still does the exact same thing as a crow cookie. Yes, here, runaway dog. Sweet, this is this nice level. There are rough goats in this section, especially at level one, too. You can tell you three or four, you're fine, but level one, two, they're, they can ram and trample you and take out a big portion of your health. See, now we get a bread roll. That one we will change. We're gonna throw away one of these happy birthday Tony cookies. 
and take the bread roll. You're just throwing it on the ground. Maybe Tony can find it later. Maybe. I doubt it, though. I mean, threw it down in the snow, so the tree's gonna be pretty garbage by the time anyone finds it. Very true. We're just gonna run through here. There's no reason to grind or do anything else. Just a quick run through. Down to the... To the lake. This is... Who are these guys? Oh, this monkey does like them. Very much likes them. We're at Lake Tess. Oh, you're the Tessie Watching Club. Okay, that's what you guys are doing here. Oh, you think you're going to see Tessie tomorrow? Cookie, what do you got? Oh, you're the cook. I'm sure I'll have some stew. Oh, good, it's free. I only had a buck. Oh, it's Paula. Head south. See, and this is a skill that Jeff has here. Um, broken equipment. As long as he has the IQ required to fix certain equipment, he will fix them. Kind of randomly. You pretty much know around what levels he's going to fix certain things. Yeah, broken spray can requires one IQ, so he has one <laughs> IQ. Um, Some of the main reasons you go to sleep. Yeah. And especially later game. Sometimes, like, you go and you specifically you <laughs> you're going to sleep just so we will fix it. Yeah. But it's like a one in four chance of him fixing them on the first chance, and then you know chances change periodically based on like if you have multiple things that could be fixed, like you could get two in a row. I'm going above this tent purposefully to avoid the picture man. Wow, but that's my favorite part. We want to keep moving. He's just yeah. a... Slows down the game. And we want to see Tessie. And we want to show off Tessie to the Tessie Club. They're not even looking at her. Oh, I know. They're looking at her. They're, they're staring, staring into the, the trees. trees. Their whole point is to stare at the water the whole time. Now, throwing their binoculars towards the trees. That's not how you try and find the water. They're not very committed. Yeah, they just weren't... They it wasn't really timed very well. well. I like this song here too. This is like one of the only times you hear this. I think there might be one more time you hear this song. I probably haven't played to that point. I might have. And I think it might be closer to any game. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess I've gotten to like this is a dream state. That's pretty close to the end, yeah. There's only a little section left after that. So I have yet yeah, came really close to being this game. But I've seen you beat it so many times that I already knew. Yeah. Already knew. know all about the ending. Yeah. See, here's one of those goats. We're going to try to take him on. We'll see how lucky we get. Doing one HP of damage. See, Ram and Trample do. Ram and, tra Ram and Trample is okay. It only does like four or five damage. It's when he tears into you. That's, that's what you got to watch out for. But we should be okay. Oh, oh yeah, we're 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 in business. We're fine. So these he'll give us a good little chunk of XP here for for the level. Let's just go ahead. We have so many cookies. We'll just eat a couple of these. No, another one of those pencil statues. I erase. We don't have the pencil have eraser. Go ahead and go through the cave here. What's this say? Welcome to my Manus dungeon. Brick road. There's no bricks though. No. Oh, here's a mouse. There's a mouse. The same mouse is from the beginning of the game. Yes, they are. Just as rowdy as he was then. He's not smashing as much. I think it might be a little different settings on, I guess, guts. There we go. 
that's going to be level good. four. I guess you kind of do want to level up three. You want to have him like level fifteen. Yeah, we'll probably do a quick little grind session on some. On the cave boys. And also, as you can get them by the time. And we'll also do some fighting on some. There's some other enemies that we're gonna we'll fight. A good couple because they're easy to do because they can't do the thing that makes them horrible. These guys, because Jeff has no PP to nullify. Yeah, so it, he wastes like two rounds trying to do that. And it doesn't affect me at all because I can't use it anyway. Five. Alright, we get find finally get a nice little HP boost there. Insecticide spray. Just some random items here. Just eating cookies keep my inventory a little more clear. Worthless protoplasm. Dodge. You wouldn't think that guy could dodge from the building in that place. Just a pile of goo. It's really like a couple of the kids. It's pretty close. 17 XP. Let's see what's in this one over here. Forget. It's broken iron. It's a set so you know that, man. I forget. Um, might be the slime like generator or something. It might be the slime generator. So you got another one of these mad ducks. No, you're fine. He just fell down. Oh my gosh. With the smash. No, I thought he died. <laughs> he didn't die. <laughs> now he's tamed. He doesn't die. He's tamed. But then I get that good 41 XP, so that's good. And this is set dungeon. It's the same, same enemy every time. Yeah. Which is pretty good, because. You just need a little bit of experience and stuff here with Jeff, so you can just build up some quick levels. Oh, call for help. Calling for help. Jeff becomes about about as tanky as as towards the end of the game. A little. He's kind of middle ground on comes to HP and stuff. I don't know why I wasted time beating a cookie, but whatever. Who's just all attack? Yeah. But he 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 gets a lot of. He's probably second in Ness to HP and stuff. Well, him and Ness are all just item dependent. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go ahead and. To eat the bread roll. Eat my less effective items first. Get another browdy mouse here. We must have got a defense boost on the last level. This is going to do more damage. Set the two. Yeah, yeah, they it just they must have as much as No, they don't smash anything as much. Oh. Bread roll, nice. Placement bread roll. And some of the drops and stuff changed here. It's not good. Oh, whoops. Let's go to the foot. Yeah, there are eight now. That's good. Especially for the people that you're going to be coming up against here. So. I think a stun gun would be like, really good in any portion of the game, really. <laughs> it's only minorly effective. We're going to go ahead and throw a call that it's max roll. Just to cover ourselves here. Sometimes the guys coming up can Yeah. Who wants to become the first human dungeon in history? Dungeon. Yeah, we'll take a nice rest. How 
us as a human count through human dungeon. Blessed become the first first fusion of human and dungeon. I see that listen. Dr. Ando needs help. More mice. I think these are this is more um giant stuff and these yeah, riding mice. So I think the, the ones here are a little more to the more rowdy. Yeah, a little more rowdy in the cave. And then I think there's ants and slugs and stuff in here too. This cave isn't too long. Nope. We're getting close to the end here, the this winter section that we can jab. But we're going to try to make sure we're at least close to on par with what Paula's levels were um, when we go back to three, because we're going to need so much this year. yeah, we're, we're going to need those levels there. Otherwise, Jeff's not going to survive very yeah, long. Really it seems like no matter what, they always target the like, weakest person. That slug's going to do some damage to me, so let's, let's see the other bread roll. Sweet. Love it when that happens. Good job, Bubbles. Yeah, he's literally just called Bubble Monkey. Let's see, there's a level 7. Oh, they did for sure. Let's take out this guy, too. Why didn't you get up behind him? Well, I got the auto win anyway. That stu it's it's all based on your offense, and that's not going to do you. You got to do it off. Oh, how did I get a green there? I'll take it. Oh, my monkey attacks a different guy than I'm attacking. See, there you go. You attacked him both the first two times. He might have died. It was close. I gotta think of what level I kinda wanna be here. I'm almost level 8. Let's see, here we go. Uh, not They're fine here because they cannot. They can't scatter spores here. So they're a lot easier because they take out. Take off a lot. Takes off their annoying thing. Worth 95 experience. Yeah. That was a pretty good guts opportunity. Yeah. Let's see. Party at 8. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and eat the croissant. Mm -hmm. I'm just 60 scared. in health. More items here. Yes. here. Oh, good. I want to fight like some mushrooms. See, I can already take them out one at a time. Oh, I don't know. I got the blue one. Oh, I must not have been close enough to automatically engage him. There's a cookie. Let's see, three more. Oh, they're going to let you face them one at a time, too. They were letting me. I'm, I'll take it. <laughs> Makes it a lot quicker. You get a lot more through a lot more. I don't see now. I'm gonna. It was green. Slave. I'm gonna have a good enough level for. See, there you go. One ninety. These are much easier fighting with Jeffs than they were with Ness. Even though I was a higher level, my offense I don't think was. Is this a mushroom in face? Um. Well, we did, can't face it now because we don't have the soundstone. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we're only able to engage these guys with Ness. So they pretty much—he pretty much just tells you to go away. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're focusing, attacking. Oh, my monkey! Don't miss. I'm not sure that helpful. <laughs> that one time he hit, did his one damage. Another cookie. I don't, I don't need the cookie. Give us one. 
red rolls or croissants or hamburgers. Go level ten. I'm watching my my IQ for a, for a specific reason. Yes, if you didn't have Bubble Monkey, you could get past like tests. You should be able to not get past it. Yeah, it's it's a saved item. Yeah, because that you won't be able to get one for a while. You won't be able to purchase big bottle rockets for yeah a long while in game. So they're real helpful here. It's a good thing you knew how to put the rope down. Smart monkey, I mean. Little bubbles and lift himself in the air, so I think you should be able to figure out uh, some more shrooms here. Oh, oh I got a real problem. Got the surprise encounter again. There we go. Now, I don't think it was. We, if we had been level 8 or 9 fighting these guys as. Ness, we, we would not have been able to one shot him like we can with Jeff. It just. Well, they give you a pretty big, like, damage upgrade really fast in this time. Yes, for sure. Cool day. Maxed out. We're going to try to find a few more of these guys. Oops. Okay. Interesting where we're at. Give them a little more one on one battles. Level 11. Okay, IQ 1.1. That gives us a quarter of 11. Okay, we're good. How much do we have to lose that? Yeah. That means we have to fight six seats. Six mushrooms. We're just gonna do this quick. We can go back to uh, Brick Road at the beginning of the cave here, and we can, that counts as a sleep there. Four more mushrooms. Because I want to have what I need to have before leaving this, especially if we're going to fight cave boys. Yeah. Yeah, the best way around. So after this, we're going to have to have one more. <coughs> I'm not going to worry about finding another mushroom. I'm just... I'm going to head to... Start heading. Why am I not one-shotting these guys? One shot, one shot, one shot, and then now I'm 49 damage. <laughs> FDA damage. And I think they have 60 exactly. I've been doing 65, 66, you know, GC9 at all. Must be like 50. Because he is in for 4 and you hit him for 54. No. No, I'd hit him before that. No, I couldn't have. Uh, that had to be the first time. Yeah. Yeah, here's slugs. I should have. This is true. I just gotta make sure. If I don't get IQ in this one, then we're just gonna move on. But. Because it's all dependent on me getting another point in IQ to get anything move forward. Yeah. I need 12 IQ, I believe. When there's a level up, good offense, defense, but there's the IQ. And a good HP boost too. Yeah. 
That was a good level up. If it's just one. Yep, it was. He goes down. It's just one little slug. Oh, more slugs. They're gonna make us battle this all out. <laughs> there, we're fine. These will go down real fast. Hypnosis, what are you doing? The monkey almost took him out. Oh, yeah, you gotta be concentrated. We said concentrated, not constipated. Uh, maybe a little both. <laughs> Very different. Get yeah, head constipation. Everything was just jammed up. You couldn't get a spell out. There we go. Now we're back here. And hopefully this works on the first try. Dungeon Man. You can see the first combination of human and dungeon in history. That's not so as possible. Well, you've never met Dr. Oh, Andy. Yeah, no, no, I didn't. So I just gotta step in here. Come back out. Go back to sleep. And sleep again. Give it another shot here. Dungeon Man. Wish I could make it go faster. At least it doesn't have the switch. There we go. No, the wrong thing. I don't want the slime generator. You're gonna sure? fix that the first time. You want me to fix the broken air gun? Yeah, I believe at 12 yes, IQ, I have the ability. But now that I fixed that, I should fix this on this try. Because I think it's like a, a super high chance of fixing something after you'd already fixed something. And I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad if I'm off on this and it's like, yeah, 14. It's like 14. Well, you can try like two more times. Yeah, we'll we try a time it. or two, and then if we don't, we're off to fight the K, K boys with the stun gun. It just makes them a little more harder. They gotta take a little more levels, a little more turns. One more try, we'll see if we get it. And if not, we're. We only need to get a level, another level or two. I think 14 or 15 is about what we're going to need. Oh, we'll try here. And we didn't get it. So let's head off back to the cave, boys. We'll get another level or two with them. Whoa. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and we're going to cut off here. And we will catch back with you guys on the other side of the cave. Um, just before we exit. So, thanks thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you just smash that like button. Make sure to follow Comment, us on subscribe. Instagram, Twitter. At Figure Bros Gaming. We'll see you next time. Peace, Peace out.